This video is brought to you by AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more. You can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. This complete After Effects project is also available for free on my web store. Check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition. I will name it as logo reveal. For this composition I will set time duration to 6 seconds. Now add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed. Here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. I will name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now let's add the reflection map media file to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the reflection media file. Select mirror edges. Now increase output width and height. Here I will adjust the position of the reflection media. I will slightly scale it. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as Reflection Map. Perfect. Place it below Logo Composition. For Reflection, change Track Map to Alpha Matte Logo. For Reflection Map, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Blob Eyes. Add it to the Reflection Map Composition. In Blowiness, change Blob Layer to Logo. Change Property to Alpha. Now set softness to 2, set cutaway to 0. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add curves to reflection. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now let's add the reflection map media file to the timeline. Now add logo composition. For Reflection Map, change Track Map to Alpha Matte Logo. For Reflection, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to the Reflection Media file. For Glass, in Surface, change Bump Map to Logo. Change Property to Alpha. Change Softness to 10. Change Height to 10. Set Displacement to minus 200. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes, add it to the reflection map. In blowiness, change blob layer to logo, change property to alpha, set softness to 2, set cutaway to 0. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the reflection. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now for logo, in effects and preset, 
Search for Simple Choker. Add it to the logo. Set Choke Mat to 20. Depending on your logo, you need to adjust the curves. Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now select all layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as Glossy Logo. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be the background layer. For background, in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the background. Set fill color. Place it below glossy logo. For glossy logo, change mode to screen. Now let's add the smoke media file to the timeline. Change mode to screen. Here we need to stretch the smoke layer, go to time, select time stretch. Set it to, 150%. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to, 5%. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the adjustment layer, for glass, in surface, set softness to, 0, height to, 0, set displacement to, 0. Now in light, at 4 seconds, create keyframe for intensity. Now at start, set intensity to, 40%. Change light type to, point light. Now at 4 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Now at start. Change X position of light as shown. Now in shading. Change ambient to 0. Diffuse to 0. Specular to 100. Now at start. Create keyframe for roughness. Set it to, 0. Now at 4 seconds, set roughness to, 0 0.5. Now let's add the particles media file to the timeline. Now let's create a new solid. Now at end of the timeline, press T to bring up opacity, create keyframe. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames, change opacity to 0%. Now for glossy logo, press S to bring up scale. At end of the timeline, create keyframe for scale. Now at start, set scale to 120%. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our cinematic logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.